Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the All-Star Play Box unboxing. So this is not part of the normal uh, Play subscription service. It's a box that you can get for $20. This is the second time I've ever heard of such a thing. I did get the first one as well. Uh, was not super thrilled with the first one, but thought the brands uh, in this box looked a little bit more intriguing. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So this one again is the All-Star box and it comes in a holographic sort of silver bag. The last one was gold, and it also comes with um, some uh, tarot cards, it said. I'm guessing that describes the uh, products that are inside. I just saw Hourglass on the back. Um, so there's different tarot cards in them. Um, so we can go over those after we're going uh, done, finished, uh, finished going through the actual products in the bag. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I am seeing is from Amore Pacific, and it is the Moisture Bound Rejuvenating Cream. Uh, so I actually just started using the La Mer Cream uh, that came in the last, what was that thing? It was the Iconic Edition um, bag, and I actually really enjoy it. My skin's been more uh, leaning more dry, or leaning more towards the dry end of the spectrum lately uh, because I've been using uh, Epo, Epiduo on my skin to help clear up the acne uh, that I've been uh, dealing with the last couple of years. Um, so I've been really enjoying that La Mer one, but I know it's crazy pricey. Uh, so this is, I'm actually really excited to get another sort of day cream product. It smells really nice. It has intriguing packaging, if you can see. So it has like a mirror or something up at the top. And then you just twist the bottom of it, let's see if I can get a little bit from the top just to feel what the consistency is like. It looks a lot more lightweight um, than that La Mer one, almost like a mixture of a gel and a cream in consistency. It has, uh, it smells like baby, okay. It might not smell like baby wipes, it just wipes swatches off the back of my hand with a baby wipe, so it might not actually smell like baby wipes, but that, that is what I was smelling. But I feel like it does have a little baby wipe or like a fresh sort of scent. Uh, it absorbed really quickly into my skin. It wasn't greasy. So we shall see, excuse me, how that goes. It's a nice size sample though. It was 0.27 fluid ounces. All right, the next thing I'm seeing is from Dior. It's one of their mascaras. It's the Mascara Professional Volume. Um, I've never tried a Dior. Actually, I think I tried a primer that I got as a sample with a Sephora order once. I wasn't impressed. I'm not a, a lash primer kind of person. Um, but uh, I'm intrigued to give this a go. Always good to have uh, mascara samples on hand, especially for travel. All right, this is a Tom Ford lip color in the shade Indian Rose, which sounds like it's going to be perfect for fall. I do have a lip oil on, so I'm not going to uh, actually put it on my on my lips. Ooh, but I don't know why I'm smelling everything. <laughs> but it has an interesting scent. And that's a stunning shade. I hope I don't fall in love with this lipstick because I think these are crazy pricey as well. Um, but I'm not sure how I feel about the form. It looks more of a, like a sheer, more satiny, glossy sort of formula. Um, so we shall see how, it does look a little patchy when I swatch it as well. But I did just put moisturizer on there or on the back of my hand before I swatch it. It's a stunning color though. Go ahead and swipe that off so I don't get that everywhere. Next, I'm seeing the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I do have a little sample of this that I, actually I don't even know where it is, but I have used it before. I don't know if this one is the same, it is. So it has this weird spatula to get it out. I don't know why they just wouldn't give it a pump but they didn't. Um, but it is a really nice primer. I haven't tried it uh, on my skin lately. Again, since it is a little bit more dry, I'm not sure how it would work because I don't believe it's a very um, hydrating primer, but we shall see about that as well. Last, I'm seeing, I never know how to say the name of this brand, SK2. I'm sure that is really not correct. <laughs> um, but this is... Uh, a facial treatment essence. Um, all of these are luxury, more luxury brands. They're all going to be more pricey. I know this is definitely more on the pricey end, but I've heard wonderful things about it. It's a skin balancing essence made in Japan. I don't see any instructions, but I'm guessing it's something you just sort of press into your skin after you cleanse and tone. I don't know. I can't really pinpoint that scent, but uh, I'm definitely excited to give this a go as well, especially again since my skin has been more on the drier side. 
last but not least is the perfume sample. Uh, and this is Flower Balm by Victor and Rolf. Um, I think I've heard a lot about this. I think it was a, an influencer box like a year ago and everyone was posting a billion pictures about it. Um, if it's flower, very floral, I'm not sure how I'll feel about it. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a little spray. I do, I do like that it's a pretty solid, it's glass, it has a nice lid uh, whoop, that you pull off and it's a spray. It's not like one of those stupid ones that you have to twist off and like dab on yourself. Uh, and it doesn't feel like one of those cheap plastic samples either. It feels like a real nice sturdy um, bottle and I, think, and I believe you get more uh, than those smaller plastic ones as well. Let's see, <laughs> that was a gorgeous face that I just made. Okay, so I'm going to let that sort of sit into my skin for a few minutes while I go over these cards that it came with. So again, this is the All Star Edition. Uh, it's written in the stars and enjoy our, more, our most luxurious, best-reviewed products along with some cosmic guidance, which I'm guessing is the tarot cards. And then it shows everything that we got in the box on the back. And there's some sort of game. It says, begin by picking three cards without looking and laying them from left to right in front of you, in this order, the cards represent your past, your present, and your future. Flip them over to uh, for some words of wisdom, and then check out the others to learn more about your products. Uh, so just goes through, I guess, and gives you a little bit more information about all the products that we received. Um, for example, Tom Ford, lip color in Indian Rose, a stunning mauve nude in a satin finish. This op uh, opulent fan favorite is the key to enchantment. Uh, and then it just gives a little... Uh, li lipstick is for lovers. Touch yours up even if there's no occasion. Um, just some little um, woo, bits on the back about the product and just that playing that the game that was described on the front, uh, the first card as well. So if you guys have any questions about this box, I think this one was worth it. I'm really excited to give that moisturizer, that lipstick, and that essence a try. Mascara is mascara. If I like, it does look like it's going to be a natural bristle brush, brush, which is my preferred type of mascara. The lighting just got really bright <laughs> in here. Uh, so I'm excited for it, I suppose. Um, oh, let's smell the perfume. Oh, yeah, no. Too sweet for me. This is going to be a good, like, wintry fall scent. But it is definitely sweet and I would say more sweet than floral. Um, so not my, not my usual cup of tea in terms of scents, um, but not terrible. So again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.